What makes a dystopia effective? Composers of dystopian texts depict bleak futures to highlight the potentially detrimental consequences of contemporary issues, aiming to spark a change in society. Brave New World, a dystopian novel written by Aldous Huxley, portrays a futuristic society of genetically modified citizens to warn audiences of the potential adverse effects of scientific developments. Similarly, V for Vendetta is a dystopian film depicting a future where the United Kingdom has been subjugated by a dictator who rules through fear and totalitarianism to raise awareness about tyranny and oppression by government. Both texts are very effective in sending their message as they depict a bleak future that urges contemporary audiences to consider current issues that could be detrimental to future generations, including the issue of freedom and individuality. What will happen if governments continue to subdue our freedom and remove our individuality? Audiences are urged to consider issues of freedom and individuality through Huxley's depiction of a bleak future where citizens are confined to a hypnotic state from birth. Inspired by his observation of the increasing tendency of Western governments to intrude upon people's lives in the 1930s, Huxley persistently employs animalistic imagery throughout the novel such as when John observes the Delta children staring with the stupid curiosity of animals or when he quotes goats and monkeys from Othello to reinforce how the lack of freedom results in dehumanization. This dehumanization is also ironic as Huxley's dystopic society seeks to elevate humans by making them less primitive but instead it only dehumanizes its citizens. Moreover, the citizens' constant repetition of the word Ford symbolizes worship, alluding to Henry Ford who was revered for perfecting mass production techniques. Consequently, this implies the loss of individuality to the point where humans are mass produced and grown on an assembly line, thus positioning the audiences to consider the issue of a lack of individuality through a depiction of a bleak future where humans are mass produced. Essentially, what Huxley is trying to say is that without freedom and individuality, we would all be the same and there would be no genuine happiness in society. Similarly, V for Vendetta depicts a bleak future through a society devoid of emancipation and where individuality is suppressed through discipline and surveillance to urge contemporary audiences to consider the issues of freedom and individuality. The inspiration behind the film was based on George Bush's presidency, portraying a government built on fear. Analogous to Brave New World, V for Vendetta also employs irony by highlighting the measures the government took to restrict freedom during a period where the United States was imposing the so-called Freedom Act, thus urging audiences to consider the absurdity of a lack of freedom and individuality. In addition, the song 1812 Overture is deliberately played every time V obliterates a government building written by Russian composer Tchaikovsky to commemorate Moscow's victory against Napoleon's army. The dramatic and victorious music builds suspense and foreshadows how the London society will ultimately overcome the oppressive government, consequently urging audiences to consider the importance of freedom. In addition, V is illustrated with a mask vigilant like appearance, providing a stark contrast to ordinary citizens, implying that he does not conform to society, hence provoking audiences to consider the issue of individuality. The Guy Fawkes mask itself and V's persistent repetition of the slogan, Remember, remember the 5th of November. The Both allude to Guy Fawkes' failed attempt to destroy the British House of Parliament, illustrating V's anarchistic nature and urging audiences to consider the value of freedom. In essence, V for Vendetta emphasizes that our freedom and individuality should not be taken away by the government, and that people should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. In conclusion, both Brave New World and V for Vendetta depict bleak futures resulting from current societal behaviours to urge audiences to consider contemporary issues, most notably freedom and individuality. Both are extremely effective as rather than explicitly conveying their message to the audience, they warn audiences of the potential implications of current trends, hence achieving the ultimate goal of a dystopian text to create change within society.